London Eye Clinic and I'm just here to remove this little star here which is quite solid and big apparently so they'll have to do two cuts in there and hopefully drain it and it'll be sore and swollen for like a month um, hopefully it'll recover without any scars yep cool so here I am out of the clinic and um, yeah they did like a few drips of an anesthetic um it was like just drops but it was it stinked a little bit and then they did the local anesthetic they pricked it like there's this syringe which is really really thin go in then in in and in and wait for a while until it actually numbs the area and then after that they kind of like use a swab which felt quite cooling to just um I think clean the whole eyelid and eye area and they massaged it the anesthetic was quite painful when they pulled down my eyelid and actually put it in but um after that yeah, I don't I couldn't see most of it because my eyes I couldn't really open and it was just full of things, I guess. And then I saw there was this little clamp which is round and it's got a little knob in it. And then they kind of like put it in and turn and I couldn't feel anything. So I think the kind of like the gunk or whatever the the pus or gunk they call it came out so for mine the surgeon said it was like the biggest gunk that came off in this quarter of the year maybe so it was like maybe past couple or three months so after that um yeah it was just done um they did, did two cuts or something and after that he checked and make sure he didn't feel any more lumps and then yep after that it was all done and then they just patched me up and they gave me some saline water and some swabs to clean it off when I take this after about two hours so I'll have to clean it with, along with the blood and some remaining gunk, whatever. And then, um, after that, I'll still have to put the eye ointment like every morning and night, and hopefully it heals so it's pricked in there so it doesn't have a scar. But my outer kind of like inflamed area kind of popped and erupted so. Um, he cleared all the pus in there because it was like a separate infection that I've got. So yeah, hopefully it will heal together with the um, sty or chalazon. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. So it should be all done and um, yeah, I'll have to do the antibiotic ointment for a week and then... Yep, it cost 579 New Zealand dollars. So that's excluding the GP um, fee, which because I'm a foreigner here, so it costed 105 for just the consultation and five bucks for the same um, antibiotic ointment that the eye specialist gave. So hopefully I'll just recover and I don't have this little thing on my eye anymore. 
and it should be all done hopefully within six weeks if anything like if it's still not clear um, I'll probably have to go back to the same eye specialist for a follow-up if not if it's all good then I don't need to go back so let's hope I have a re speedy recovery <laughs> right, bye我要去洗手先，帮我泡一下。不要泡，按那个红色的button，后面后面，嗯，给人泡一下一下，然后，看一下，哦，所以这个。放在这个上面，嗯，好，慢慢的从里面，妈，ouch，到外面。里面，嗯，到外面，有干净一点点吗？嗯，嗯，哎，嗯，是有点痛啊。
、完璧な。嗯，还是有少少肿，应该是黑心的关系。他讲会肿了，会要他会缩了一点点，所以现在是这样啊。Compared to normal eye， 现在要 clean 了那些肮肮脏脏的血，还有那些。Gunk, 他们讲，嗯，就这样，好福利会好一点。